In this video, I'll be highlighting Tesla's seven huge moats, giving them extraordinary competitive advantages, and therefore why I believe Tesla's growth is unstoppable. Through all of my deep research into Tesla stock over the past year, I've come to realize just how underestimated this company truly is. Show Tesla stock to the average investor, and he or she will tell you that it's completely overvalued. However, after digging deep into Tesla's seven huge moats in today's video, you'll come to realize why Tesla trades at the valuation that it does, and why this company is unstoppable. So if you do enjoy, please smash the like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future content and now let's get into it. First of all we need to specify exactly what a moat really is because I see a lot of people making false statements about what they think a moat is. Warren Buffett described the term economic moat as a company's sustainable competitive advantage over rivals allowing that company to protect its market share and profitability. So the three key words you need to understand when it comes to a moat are sustainable competitive advantage. For example a company might have a patent to a specific technology that makes it difficult for competitors to copy some type of manufacturing process. Now here's an example of what is not a moat. I saw this article online saying Tesla's over-the-air software updates are a moat, and while that may be a great feature, I don't believe this is a moat because competitors will be able to copy this and they will be implementing this into the future quite easily. So I'm going to be as realistic as possible when it comes to Tesla's seven moats, and now let's get into it. Tesla's first unique competitive moat comes down to their first mover's advantage. Not only is Tesla the first mover in the EV industry, but it's also very rare to find a company with such a huge lead as Tesla does. The only comparison I have in my mind is when Amazon started AWS back in 2006 and they had a seven year head start without any competition. And today, 16 years later, they remain the biggest cloud computing business in the world with a 33% market share. And this is the same way I predict things playing out for Tesla, where they've had a multi-year head start over other automakers in the world. Tesla began selling the Model S back in 2012 when it was extremely rare to find an EV in the market. Now I could only find specific data points going back as far as 2018, but for US EV deliveries by brand, we can see Tesla sold 197,500 EVs in 2018, while the next closest competitor only sold 36,300 EVs. So Tesla sold over five times the amount of EVs compared to their next closest competitor back in 2018. And keep in mind, Tesla's competitors numbers also included hybrid EVs, which are gasoline powered engines as well. As for 2021, Tesla again was leading the pack with total EV deliveries of 936,000, while the next closest competitor was BYD in China with 593,000 EVs delivered, but this is misleading because they only sold 320,000 battery electric vehicles. So Tesla nearly tripled the next closest competitor's battery electric vehicle deliveries in 2021. So clearly Tesla has an unstoppable lead due to their first mover's advantage, but what's saying people will continue buying Teslas well into the future? Well that brings me into Tesla's second competitive mode, and that would be their brand value. Without a doubt, Tesla has developed a premium brand value over recent years. In fact, Tesla has now outsold every other premium car in the US, both gas and electric. In 2021, the Tesla Model Y was the top selling premium SUV in the US, having sold 174,000 units, while the Tesla Model 3 was the top selling premium sedan, having sold 137,000 units. So nowadays, Tesla beats out premium brands such as BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Lexus, and Acura, which is just incredible to see how fast they got into the lead. Additionally, Tesla's premium brand gives them incredible pricing power. For example, over the past year, Tesla has raised prices on all of their EV models several times, and more recently, they just raised prices again due to incredibly high demand, resulting in extremely long wait times, and in some cases, waiting until 2023. In fact, Tesla's brand is so valuable, they've been able to achieve this level of demand without even spending a single dollar on advertising, which I think is absolutely unbelievable. But Tesla's brand can also be understood through people people's experiences. Speak to any Tesla owner and it's very likely they won't be able to shut up about how much they love their car. The sexy look, the acceleration, the handling, the technology, the features, the safety, the cost, etc. Tesla delivers top premium brand value in all areas of the driver experience. Furthermore, Tesla is becoming a very well-known brand among little kids and little kids can spot Teslas like none other. What you need to understand is these little kids are the future generation that are going to be buying Teslas years or decades down the road. Now let me ask you this, how many little kids do you think would know about a Nissan Leaf or a Rivian truck? Hint, the answer is not very many. All right, now moving along, Tesla's third competitive moat is their vertical integration. A vertically integrated company simply means that they control all parts of their supply chain from raw materials to the final product. In Tesla's case, they build their EVs from the ground up where the only parts of their supply chain they don't control is the mining operations for raw materials like nickel and lithium. However, recently Elon just said 
said Tesla might even get into mining operations too if the price of raw materials remains high. So by controlling as many parts of the supply chain as they can, Tesla is able to achieve industry record profit margins, and that's because they don't have to rely on suppliers and middlemen to do a lot of the work like traditional automakers do. For example, in Tesla's brand new Gigafactory in Austin, Texas, they are creating 4680 battery cells in-house, which are then used to create the Model Y's structural battery pack and the final production car. Furthermore, Tesla streamlines the customer experience by selling their EVs direct to consumer via their website, while other automakers are burdened with the costs of operating car dealerships. This just simplifies the car buying experience and it allows the consumer to buy a car from the comfort of their own home, just like you would a package on Amazon. The final step to Tesla's vertical integration is their supercharger network. This could honestly be a moat in itself since Tesla owns and operates 3,500 supercharger stations and over 30,000 superchargers available to customers worldwide, and they're still growing at a rate of 35% per year. The closest competitor to Tesla in terms of electric fast charging stations would be Electrify America, which only has 800 charging stations and 3,500 individual fast chargers across North America, which they plan to double by 2025. Currently, only Tesla owners can use these supercharger stations, but once other EV owners are allowed to use these supercharger stations, Tesla will gain a lot of free advertising since everyone will have to download their app. Overall, Tesla's vertical integration allows them to control nearly every step of the supply chain from battery design all the way to the supercharger stations. All right, moving on to Tesla's fourth competitive mode, and that would be economies of scale. Economies of scale is a common mode achieved by most mass automakers where they achieve incremental cost savings through increased production. With every additional EV Tesla pumps out, they're able to reduce their cost per vehicle, and that's because a lot of the fixed costs in the business are then divided among a much larger number of vehicles. But while every automaker can achieve economies of scale with multiple production sites, Tesla is far ahead of the competition in terms of their profit margins. So far, Tesla has been able to achieve the highest profit margins among mass automakers where Tesla has a gross automotive margin above 30%, while other automakers are at around 20% or lower. Furthermore, Tesla flexed its muscles with this chart in their Q4 2021 earnings report, clearly showing they are quickly becoming the most profitable mass automaker in terms of operating margins too. As Elon Musk stated at Giga Austin's grand opening, the Gigafactory is the product, not the car. It's the machine that builds the machine that matters. By that, Elon simply means the Gigafactory is so much bigger and so much further advanced compared to any other company's factory in the world. In fact, Giga Austin is the single largest factory in the US and stood up on its side, it's taller than the Burj Khalifa, aka the world's tallest building. And the Giga Austin Model Y production line is said to be the highest capacity production line of any line in the world. Furthermore, the Gigafactory enables Tesla to be vertically integrated where they can create batteries in-house as well as EVs and they don't have to worry about transportation costs. So when Elon Musk says he wants to scale to extreme size, he means extreme size. And this is a strong competitive advantage to Tesla that many other automakers will struggle to achieve. All right, now Tesla's fifth competitive moat is their technological superiority. Along with extreme size, Tesla has an incredible advantage when it comes to technology within their gigafactories as well as their consumer products. Starting with the gigafactories, Tesla's technology is unmatched when it comes to manufacturing EVs. Just look at this incredible video flying through Giga Berlin. We can first see Tesla's massive gigapress and gigacasting machines, which eliminate hundreds of separate parts and thousands of welds that would otherwise be necessary to create the frame of the body of a car. Tesla's also very keen on robotics, where they automate as many processes as possible. In fact, Tesla can produce one of their EVs in about 10 hours compared to Volkswagen, one of their biggest competitors that takes around 30 hours to produce a single EV. This just demonstrates Tesla's incredible competitive advantage when it comes to streamlining production via technology. Next up, Tesla's technological advantage continues into their EVs. Teslas are often considered to be computers on wheels since they have countless features that simply don't exist in other cars today. For example, all Tesla EVs have 4G wireless service, allowing the car to always have an up-to-date navigation system and real-time traffic. Furthermore, Tesla continuously sends over-the-air software updates to its fleet of EVs, which can include bug fixes, additional new features, or even performance updates that makes the cars better over time. Think about it, every single smartphone has had this feature for over a decade now, but in cars, this is a rarity. For example, GM plans to launch their Ultify over-the-air software update platform in 2023. Meanwhile, Teslas have had this capability since 2012. Tesla also has market-leading autopilot and full self-driving technology, which are best in class due to Tesla's massive data lead over every other auto company on the planet. With billions of miles of data, Tesla can train and improve their AI models at a faster rate than any competitor 
Jupiter will be able to come close to, which improves this technology at a rapid pace. Therefore, Teslas can essentially drive themselves, and well into the future, this will become much more apparent, and they keep getting updates every few weeks over the air, of course. Finally, in terms of Tesla's EV hardware technology, they've been able to achieve better specs than every other EV on the market at the same price point. If you haven't already, I'd encourage you to watch Monroe Live on YouTube, where they tear apart the Tesla Model S Plaid and compare the build quality and design to other automaker vehicles. Sandy Monroe, who has decades of experience in the field, literally cannot stop praising Tesla for their engineering design, technology, and innovation. Tesla's motto goes something like, the best part is no part, so they remove all unnecessary garbage that shouldn't be included in the car, and this ends up reducing the weight of the car and therefore improving the efficiency and range. And as an engineer myself, I can say this is the best way to approach an engineering problem. Overall, I've only scratched the surface when it comes to Tesla's technological advantage, and I haven't even dove into Dojo's AI technology, battery technology, or their energy business, but hopefully this gave you a good idea of where Tesla's at right now. All right, now Tesla's sixth competitive mode is built upon network effects. Typically, you'd think network effects only apply to social media companies like YouTube and Facebook, or some of the payment processing companies like Visa and MasterCard, but Tesla has strong network effects since they collect massive amounts of driver data to improve vehicle safety, full self-driving and autopilot, as well as Tesla insurance rates. The more Tesla drivers on the road, the more data that Tesla can gather, and therefore the better the experience for each individual Tesla driver. As of Q1 2022, Tesla has over 2.5 million cars within their fleet on the roads today, so you can only imagine that Tesla has billions upon billions of miles of driver data. For example, Tesla can improve vehicle safety and offer competitive insurance rates through understanding a driver's safety score, where they track speed, braking, acceleration, and so many other metrics on each Tesla vehicle. Additionally, Tesla's full self-driving and autopilot also create network effects for the company. Tesla's full self-driving gets better with every new driver on the road since they can gather more data and therefore every new driver will also have a better experience with FSD. So Tesla's massive data advantage is nothing to underestimate. And as their fleet grows bigger, we'll begin to see just how important these network effects become. Finally, Tesla's seventh competitive mode comes down to their continuous innovation culture. Aside from maybe Amazon, Apple, and Microsoft, I think that Tesla is the most innovative company in the world, and I can assure you these types of companies don't come around too often. In fact, according to the Boston Consulting Group's analysis, Tesla came in as the fifth most innovative company in the world in 2021, only behind the four other top tech giants. Can you see the commonality between these top five companies? Spoiler alert, every single one of these companies is worth over a trillion dollars. So then what makes Tesla so innovative? Well, it all starts with their anti-handbook handbook that every Tesla employee receives upon starting at the company. Let me just read you the first three lines. We're Tesla. We're changing the world. We're willing to rethink everything. We're a high-tech company unlike any other high-tech company. We're a car company unlike any other car company. We're different and we like it that way. Being different allows us to do what no one else is doing, to do what others tell us is impossible. And this just highlights the way that Tesla operates. They don't do things just because it's been said to be the industry standard. Tesla's always carving new pathways, they're always innovating, and they're always looking outside the box. This can be seen through their gigafactories, their gigapress and gigacasting machines, which are brand new to industry, their approach to full self-driving, their structural battery pack in the new Model Y, their newly designed 4680 battery cells, and so much more. And another example is just how Tesla handled the global chip shortage back in 2020. They began rewriting software code on existing chips to try and minimize production delays while every other auto manufacturer decided to shut down their plants. As a result, Tesla now attracts the top engineering talent from universities ahead of all other companies in the world. According to a study by Universum, Tesla was the second most attractive employer to engineering students in the US in 2021, only behind SpaceX. And since Elon Musk is at the helm of both companies, SpaceX works very closely with Tesla, and they can synergize when it comes to autonomy, material science, and engineering. Overall, a continuous innovation culture is not something that's easily replicable in another company, and therefore why this is one of Tesla's massive moats. Finally, I do have a bonus moat for you, and that would be the genius and visionary CEO Elon Musk is. Without a doubt, Tesla would not be where it is today without Elon Musk at the helm of the company. While you might have your reservations about him, Elon Musk is objectively one of the greatest innovators and businessmen of our generation. Having started two companies, SpaceX and Tesla, within two incredibly challenging industries to succeed, he's been able to achieve massive success, and as a result, he's also become the world's richest man today. With Elon Musk as the CEO of Tesla, I have the confidence as an investor that any challenges that arise in the future will be overcome through his first principles thinking and engineering mindset, 
as well as the team that he's built at Tesla. So all in all, I personally think that Tesla's management is another moat that's very difficult for other companies to achieve. But then again, Elon Musk could leave the company at any point, so that's why I didn't include it in our list today. All right, so in summary, Tesla's seven unique moats are first mover's advantage, premium brand value, vertical integration, economies of scale, technological superiority, network effects, continuous innovation culture, and the bonus moat, genius and visionary CEO. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Tesla is my top investment for an obvious reason, and it is for these seven moats that they possess. Now this video took me a ton of time and effort to research and put together all of these facts, so I really would appreciate a like if you did make it to the end and enjoyed this video. Also, please consider subscribing if you do like Tesla and you want to see more content in the future or just some investing stuff on stocks. But anyways, with that said, I will see you in the next one.